I was absolutely bricking it when I got off the bus. We'll say our worst roommate's on three. When yes. the music goes off, second verse. It oh. One, two, three. Really yeah, it's well. amazing how it got stronger <laughs> in the week as well. I mean, all he had to do was run it in. Yeah. There was a magnificent From 60 meters. <laughs> oh. Welcome, everyone, to Access Scotland Camp, connecting you to your team. Dave, how are you doing? Great to have you. I'm very well. How are you, Dode? Good, thanks. Uh, pleasure to be here. And Kyle? Cool, thanks, mate. Um, Hello. In this new series, we'll be sharing insights and stories from within the camp and giving you, our supporter community, the opportunity to send in your questions for us to answer and get the chance to win some amazing prizes. So, we'll kick off, shall we? Quick review of the, the last week. Um, we'll start off uh, with you, David, in Spain. Uh, nice bit of sun. How did you enjoy the week there? It was brilliant. You can see I've uh, really picked up a nice tan from being out there. Um, but it was great to have a different training environment, get out on the grass pitches and feel a bit of warmth, which is always good for the, for the older body like uh, Hamish Watson. Yeah, exactly. He, he's thriving out there. You guys had a, another team activity in the morning? Not uh, a field team, but... Yeah, so we did. Um, we took the opportunity to be by the sea to go out for a cold swim in the morning. So, uh, yeah, regulars were myself, Charis, Hoggy, and then... We had some one-timers, I tried to convince you, but you wouldn't have a bar of it. Too cold. Um, Not for you either, Davey. No, I was nah. at the table tennis table, just dominating yeah, that, really. Uh, well, uh, I saw you taking javelin down yeah. a few times. Yeah, well. <laughs> still dominating. Yeah. <laughs> How did you find training in the heat? It wasn't, I mean, it wasn't roasting, was it? But Much different to the sunny, sunny Edinburgh training? I'd say it was a perfect temperature. It was lovely, wasn't it? Really enjoyed it. Nice to be outside on the grass. Better yeah. for the knees. Yeah, all round, loved it. Good. Highlighted the fact that none of us have a turn except for Hoggy when he went orange. Hoggy <laughs> caught the sun really, <laughs> really yeah, well. It's amazing how it got stronger in the <laughs> week as well. Um, yeah, pretty much us. It was, it was good in the sense we got to spend a lot more time with each other. We just love each other's company, don't we? So yeah, lots of connection yeah, yeah. time. Yeah. Um, but seriously, it was, it was obviously, it was quite a nice thing. You Who was your roomie? Stay in awe. Off, all, always together. Yeah, so. yeah, nice. Gog was adamant to make sure we felt the heat, so he had our air con set to about 27 degrees oh, every night. So. Really? You go hot? I'm a suz, and he's like, we're like, let's go Baltic. That mm. is, to be fair, that's, that's your me. preference. So. Mm. Moving swiftly on to the game, um, I'll come to Steno on this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want our supporters here, but. <laughs> um, Steno, how was it starting at Twickenham? First time at Twickenham for yourself. How were you feeling before the game? Uh, yeah, well, we spoke about this the other day, didn't mm. we? Um, yeah, I said I was, I was absolutely bricking it when I got off the bus. Um, seemed like quite a hostile environment. Uh, yeah, nerves were, nerves were pretty high, but I think there was a good feeling amongst the, the group in general. A um, lot of excitement, a little bit of a mix of everything, really. Yeah. How were you feeling? I was the same, yeah. I was nervous. Like, ex excited as well, like you say, first game of the new campaign. Uh, the stadium, the atmosphere was amazing. So, um, yeah, pretty easy game to get up for as well. So. Yeah. Definitely nervous, especially when I was coming on at the end there, but um, no, mainly excited. Yeah. Davey, how are you feeling? <coughs> From a supporter's point of view, if I can call myself a supporter once oh. kickoff had happened, um, quite nerve-wracking because mm. you can't influence the game at all, That's so you're it. Yeah. on the edge of your seat the whole time, but yeah, brilliant result. And we've got to touch on, Duhan did something pretty well, but what about your assist for that try? Exactly, mate. Yeah. I mean, all he had to do was run it in. Yeah. It was a magnificent From 60 meters. <laughs> oh, that was that was a cool moment. We brought up in the the, tr the meeting today the the reaction from the guys on the sideline. That was it was amazing to see everyone just going mental and yeah. Everyone Particularly kind of Sam Skinner when a camera's on him. The yeah. whole <laughs> he loves it. Doesn't Netflix he? He does. thing. He's really buying into it's that. I'm surprised he dead. didn't ask to do that. <laughs> yeah, I thought it might pop out the woodwork. Yeah. Yeah. Is he behind there actually? <laughs> yeah. Talk us through that final moment. I mean, you had a pretty crucial role to play in the. In the yeah, final Jamie looked like he was he was a bit vulnerable over that ball. So we call it an anchor. It's a technical part of the game. Just getting my leg in behind him, just giving that bit of support to secure that winning. Turnover. Adding some ballast. Yeah, <laughs> <so> adding some <laughs> exactly. ballast. Exactly. Dave. We've already touched on it as again, but the sideline atmosphere, the boys were, we were that 16th man. I thought it was there. tremendous, to be yeah. fair, it's like a great atmosphere. It was. Particularly loud, the anthem. It seemed like there was a oh. lot of Scottish people in the stadium, which is lovely to hear. Um, but yeah, brilliant, right Amazing. up until the end, the atmosphere was quality and the bench were going mental. Mad. There was a lot of Scots in there. We did a little lap at the end and 
the amount of people that stayed behind was just class. So thank you to everyone. Uh, it really made the difference. I really wish there was a camera on, on James Robson somewhere. Um, he was jumping on players left, right and centre <laughs> from, from the touchline. It was brilliant to see. Oh, he's good um, for But yeah, you could see the elation all round, eh? Yeah. 271st Test match for James Robson, I think. Jeez, lost. Someone might have to correct me, but I think that was mentioned, which is incredible. Pretty what a man. Incredible. Yeah, yeah, what a man. Right, on to the most important topic of the day, the fan questions. For the main part of the show, we'll be answering some questions that have been sent in by you, the fans. After we've answered all the questions, we'll vote, the three of us, on which we think is the best, and you will receive a signed England versus Scotland match programme signed by Doohan van der Merwe. Wow. Wow. What a prize. Wow. Big what a prize. Dewey. <laughs> okay, right, Shout the first out. one here is Shout from out. Mary Carley. <laughs> <laughs> Carl Carley. We'll call you Mary. Which game do you look forward to most in the Guinness Six Nations? Oh, the Calcutta Cup, I think, for the boys. Um, especially if it's at home. Mm. I think that's definitely the favourite, yeah. What about yeah. you, Davy? Ditto. Yeah. Ditto. Yeah, it's a clean sweep for me, Calcutta Cup. It's a, it's a big game, so. <laughs> uh, who is the fastest player in the squad from Ooh. Angus 12894? Duane. <laughs> yeah. Duane van der Merwe. Yeah, yeah Duane. You saw it at the weekend. He is... Rapido. Very fast. And can also move rather well for a big man. Gog, would you rate yourself over 10 metres? 10 metres, maybe 5 to 10. I could maybe pip him, but anything over that is dust. Ah. Uh, right, from Louis, what is your favourite try you've ever been involved in? Let's go to Dave first on this <laughs> one. Uh, my favourite try, Stade de France away two years ago. Oh. Uh, kind of bobbled in front of me, caught it, dived over the line, and yeah. Just because it was my that try. That was the so. game he's won away in France. It's the one we yeah. won away in Paris. That good after match as well, I heard. Uh, we had a shandy or two, yes. Well deserved. Kyle, favourite try you've ever been involved in? Uh, the one from the weekend, probably close to it. A try assist for doing there would have been pretty good. But otherwise, La Rochelle away for Glasgow mm. a couple of years back. That cross kick from Haysto. Um, that gave us the points we needed to to stay ahead of them. So, yeah. Nice. You? You, uh, yeah. Yeah, my favourite try oh, there's so many um, <laughs> Exeter at home Exeter at home was cool yeah Hoggy and Tommy Seymour and Finn put on a bit of a show there I just ran the inside support line but that was a good try uh, for Scotland one of my three against Russia <laughs> oh uh, there it is I'll pick that up <laughs> <laughs> uh, the World Cup yeah they were pretty cool obviously playing with Pete and stuff so no and then celebrating with Jamie behind it, the, the the try line, so yeah, we'll go with one of them. Here we go, oh, I know the answer to this. From Kai Waddle, who is the best in the squad at another sport? I'm gonna bet myself on the table tennis front. <laughs> that's shocking. That's that not shocking. Pure. You're right. Davies B League. I ran a tie break last <laughs> night and you scraped through with a let. Well, not a let. What? The the net. Nah, Davies B League. You can't Johnson comment Cup. on this. <laughs> Gog. Gog's annoying because he's, he's probably way more consistent than I am. Um, every I'm, I'm an all or nothing. Yeah, it is. That tends to be the, the, the fight between us. Uh. On your day. I had another sport. Good. What other sports are we going? Darts. I'm darts. nowhere, nowhere near darts. Yeah, I'll take the darts you trophy. You're good at darts. Yeah. Yeah. Trophy. You're built like a darts man. You, got right. you spend some time in the pub, What's Davey. What's that meant to me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, nothing. Just strong arms. Yeah, and, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Xander, maybe like an eating challenge or something. Yeah. yeah. Maybe sumo wrestling. Xander. Um, Scummies would be a sumo wrestler. Can we chapter. get them those big suits? And we can get them to, that would they be don't good. need the suits, do they? <laughs> um, Walshy, he's not a player, but oh. you mental skills coach. Walshy's off one at golf. Yeah. He's, he's a good golfer. Good golfer so I'll tell you who there. wouldn't win anything is JD and Tans at paddle tennis. Shocking. Oh, really? Yeah, Shocking. awful. Really JD's so competitive as well. Yeah, I he thought he would. He, he, he double faulted on the serve three times <laughs> in a row. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he was, he was fine with it. He didn't yeah, get he didn't yeah, yeah, no. Nice, good question, Kai. Um, Heather Bell, 808. What is your pre game routine and any superstitions, Dave? Uh, no, just relax at home. I like to tidy the house, believe it or not, because it kind of. Kills the That's day. Someone else said that, and was it Scucks? Yeah, I yeah. Just yeah. Like to kind of zip around the house with the Hoover and nice. Cue cop. Just Apron relax. on. Marigolds. Oh yeah. 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 Of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Doubtfire. Shebang. Say no. Eh, nah, not really. I wear the same pair of budgies for Glasgow, and wear the Scotland ones if we, if I get to play for Scotland. But 
Other Jeez, than that, would you like to tell the fans what the budgies are? Uh, the budgies are my grandfather's tartan, uh, the modern Douglas tartan that I got sent for my wedding. That's um, so that's a new addition for this season. Before this season, it was the koalas, the special edition oh, that you and I bought, so yeah. but I lost those. Budgies, for anyone wondering, are just Y front, fronts. Yeah. Pants, uh, Swimmers. Yeah. You don't talk. No, I, I'm, I know very, I'm usually very quiet. I don't say anything in the really? warm-up or that. Yeah. 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 Um, what do I do? I do eat the same things on game day, like yeah, porridge, I'm eggs right. and stuff. Just pasta the night before. I know pasta you make. the night before. Mm. Chefy boy, sorts as else. But I'm also quite superstitious, but... What are More superstitions? Like, I don't like saying them. That's one of my superstitions. <laughs> I don't like saying my superstitions. But no. I just write things on my wrist that mean things to me. and that, That's probably actually the only one. Uh, I always write that on my wrist. Nice. So. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, here we go. Harris Harper. Who are the best and worst roommates? Careful here. <laughs> <laughs> best, best first. We'll go best. Uh, well, Gog's my best, best roommate. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, we're going on three or four years now. Yeah, yeah. Um, Glasgow and Scotland, we've got a good thing going. Um, I like chocolate, Gog likes sweets, so it ends up being a good... A good dovetail well yeah. in that department. Um, Suds, no, Suds yeah. is up there. I've got a back, back him. We Beth. talk about... Yeah, yeah, used to be, yeah. Snorer, no? Mild, but I always bring earplugs. Fair. But um, like to talk about cars and fishing and that kind of stuff. So. Nice. We'll say our worst roommates on three. I think this could be a recurring theme okay <gasps> one two three johnny Zang. gray oh <laughs> <laughs> no actually johnny oh that didn't work no nah. gilco okay go again the camera <laughs> okay cut that one yeah. two three gilco. Xander. <laughs> 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 right gilco why snores it all comes down to snoring, snoring. there's yeah. nothing Barting worse as well. we should throw in a question there no. like things you notice about your teammates because there's a couple that whenever oh. they talk and hey yeah. I'm, in, I'm in charge here yeah fair oh. <laughs> no. i'm throwing that yeah, into the pool no, there is a few i want habits. i want the sign program from doing so you always leave those canoes lying around the place you can trip over xander is my purely on snoring so loud couldn't sleep nice there we go thanks harris a barnet 08 uh, if you had to play in the pack where would you play oh <laughs> ming it certainly not a hooker <laughs> Uh, back row, it's got to read. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, back row, it's, it's have to be, be uh, yeah. carrying number eight, maybe. Yeah. I'd, I'd need to put on 30 kilos and a foot of height. But yeah. Um, if you were a f back, which one? Um, probably just 12, just straight up and down. Maybe just distribute a bit, left You've and right all. foot, you yeah. know. Nice. Yeah. Humble. Right, looking ahead. Returning to BT for Murrayfield this week. How excited are we for that? Very excited. Mm. Agreed. So it's, uh, <laughs> re sorry, really excited. <laughs> um, no, I think the atmosphere is great when you now come in and you've got the pipe band and everyone waiting for you to get off the bus. It's a pretty magic moment. And then it is. obviously Flower of Scotland is, has been touched on in the media by Jamie, I think last week mentioned, when, when yes. the music goes off, second verse, it oh. gives you goosebumps, makes the hair, well, I would say hair stand up. <laughs> but, um, hey. oh, I think it's amazing. I think like, David said, Flower of Scotland. I think the fact that your home anthem's second as well, mm. you know, it really puts a fire in the belly and then it's nice not having to wait for the home team's anthem. Like, you finish on that you're and you're ready to go. Straight onto the bench for me. <laughs> 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 I just think it's like the home support. Like it's, yeah. it's obviously mm. louder than the away support and yeah. they get behind you and it really assists you in moments of uh, feeling slightly tired. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Are you allowed it. to say that? This, uh, the support is definitely the main, the main um, one. When your energy's lower than it was at the start of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Yeah, the support's amazing. Like, even away this week, we're so loud, but at home, oh. it's just that extra bit special. And, uh, favourite memory at BT Murfield? Quick fire. Favourite memory? Playing or supporting? I'm going to go debut. France, last game before COVID. Um, managed to get a win. Uh, we had a sunny day. Uh, got to play with you. Sang the anthem next to you, which was beast. Well, that was good. My old man was there. Yeah, all around good day. Great day. Mine was Australia in the autumn, first time I played with a, with a crowd, mm. um, and then obviously singing the anthem. Yeah, I'd echo that, just singing the anthem with Pete um, on my first game, I think it was against Fiji at home, so yeah, Thanks, and then <laughs> obviously singing with Kyle <laughs> a few years ago. Um, and as a supporter, the England game when they won in Cup 2018, the crowd all started singing Flower of Scotland. I was in the crowd with a few shandies, um, and the atmosphere was just mental. And, yeah, that was the first win for a few years, so it was class. Right, guys, so the all-important section of today, which question, fan question, did you think was the best slash inspired the best topic of conversation amongst us? I think 
for me, best and worst roommate. Yeah, was a good one. Good, one. It's good insight for everyone that's not here as well. To hear what people are like I'm going to go food. for best sport outside of rugby. Right, well, I get a deciding vote. vote. I'll go with... I'll go with roommate. Sorry, Davey. Oh, Thanks, Davey. Yeah. Stick together. Exactly. Stick together. <laughs> um, that was good. We all have different roommates, so we got a good insight on a few different people. So well done too. First time using an iPad, is it? Yeah, hold on. I'll find it somewhere. That would normally be an iPad. Harris video, Harper. Right? <laughs> 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 Harris Harper, great question. You win a signed copy of the England v Scotland match programme. Signed well by Joanne van der Merwe. Woohoo! Thanks for tuning in to Access Scotland Camp and to everyone that sent in their questions. Keep an eye out on Scottish Rugby social media channels for your next opportunity to send in questions for us. Thanks, guys. Thanks very much, Dude. Thank you very much, Dude. Thank well. you, David. Thanks, Cheers. Cheers, Daniel. Good night. <laughs>